The island of Sodor was being pounded by a strong wind. It was making life difficult for the engines. At night, the wind would whistle through the shed and keep the engines up all night. They found it very worrying. I don't like this, said Henry one morning. Huh, <laughs> scoffed Gordon. You're not frightened of a bit of wind, are you? What would become of my express if I let a bit of wind stop me? You just be careful, retorted Henry. Driver says he's worried about some of the trees along the main line. If these gusts get any worse, they'll be pulled down onto the track, and then your express couldn't go anywhere. Rubbish, grunted Gordon. No, I've no time to worry about silly little things like that. Perhaps if you spent less time worrying about the wind and doing your work, you might not get held up every day. And with that, he snorted away to collect his train. At first, his journey went well, despite the wind. But by the time he set out for home, it had become a rather strong gust, and he soon started to regret his boasting. When they arrived at Edward Station, they were stopped by a signal set at danger. There's a tree down across your line, said the station master. The other line is clear, though, so if you can just push your train back to the crossover, we'll be able to get you across Wrong Road. Hmm, grunted Gordon. We'd better move quickly before someone else passes through. The safety of the passengers is our priority, reminded the driver. Let's just be thankful that it isn't more serious. But as the driver put his hand on Gordon's reverser, there was an extra fierce gust of wind, followed by a strange creaking sound from behind them. The fireman looked back out of the cab just in time. Wait! he shouted. There was a loud crash that rocked the station. A tree at the end of the platform had fallen across the line, just short of the final coach, blocking their path. Well, that's done it, groaned the fireman. We're trapped. Nobody is going anywhere for a while. Bother, grunted Gordon. Now we're going to be very late. Henry and James are going to have a field day. The station master called the signal box while Gordon's crew explained what had happened to the passengers. They didn't have to wait long, but to Gordon it felt like ages before he heard a cheerful whistle approaching the station yard. Hello, Gordon, called Trevor. Trapped by trees, are you? Never mind, we'll soon have you moving again. Oh, thank you, Trevor, said Gordon. Hurry now, please, I really... I mean, the passengers are relying on you to get us moving again. But it was too late. Henry saw everything. Soon the line was clear, and Gordon whistled goodbye to Trevor as he hurried away. As he went, the wind finally died to a whisper. That night, Henry and James sniggered quietly and had a good long chat about Gordon's day with the trees. Gordon thought, for big mainline engines, they were being very silly indeed.